Falcons. We just saw the cartoon of the book Arrow to the Sun. This book won a Caldecott Medal, which means in the year it was written, it was decided that it was the very best picture book. And when I was looking at this story about a boy on his search to find his father who happened to be the Lord of the Sun, I was noticing all of the beautiful geometric pictures and their warm colors, the yellows, the reds, the golds. And we see his journey. And looking at him, he's got a very geometric shape. So it inspired today's project where we are going to be creating our own characters or using inspiration from the actual book. So if you want to, I included a link on the materials page with some images from the story. And you can also always just go do a Google image search and type in arrow to the sun and lots of pictures from this story will pop up and it will really help inspire your work. You will also need a sheet of graph paper. You could have picked this up at Forrestal. If you don't have it, don't worry. There is a link at the bottom of the materials needed page where you can get a piece of graph paper to print out. And if not, just try your best with a piece of notebook paper. Make Take those lines that went horizontally and draw some vertical lines and you will have that checkered effect. You'll also need a pencil with an eraser in case you make some mistakes that you wanna fix along the way. You will also want some warm colored markers, um, possibly to add some vibrance to your creation. So. Pause your video and get your materials. I am ready to start my character from the book, Arrow to the Sun. And I am going to use the paper and an image from the story to inspire me. So I am going to start by drawing out kind of like a Minecraft type of project in that I use the boxes to help me in my drawing. You can see that I'm using the lines to help create the image I am wanting to create. And look, I made a little mistake there, so I'm gonna erase it. And just start drawing how I see the image to be. You don't need to go exactly off of what the book did, but you certainly can if you feel that's something you'd like to try. And in doing so, I am creating a character using these squares to help guide me. Here's an example of some other ones that I've done. I was looking at this picture of the arrow, the boy when he was actually going, turned himself into an arrow. And I drew this. Going in and adding color will really bring these to life. Here is an example of a finished product that I created. 
I also created this image based off one of the trials that he had to go through to prove he was the son of the Lord of the Sun. And I also drew this picture, which is the Lord of the Sun. And you could see I really used these lines to help guide me. You do not need to create an image from Arrow to the Sun, but it sure is fun to get inspiration. Or you can just create your own character using the graph paper. When you have finished, you want to ask yourself, did I follow directions and use the graph paper to create a character or image from the story or inspired by the story? How was my craftsmanship? If you notice my craftsmanship here, I worked very neatly staying within my lines and coloring very neatly. So my craftsmanship, it's something I'm proud of. And was I creative? Did I make something original and beautiful? You can say yes, you will sign your name because we know all great artists sign their name to their work. Then go to the assignment link, click on that microphone and share your amazing drawings with me. I hope you enjoyed this story, Arrow to the Sun and were as inspired by it as I was.